Hello, I'm Kashif, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I'm going to show you how you can verify the credentials that you are using in AWS command line and AWS SDK when you are trying to access Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's get started. Sometimes you might find that you can access Amazon S3 when using the AWS CLI, but you get the access denied error when you are using the AWS SDK. This can happen when the SDK is using different credentials than the AWS CLI is using. To resolve this problem, follow these steps. Open a terminal where the most recent version of AWS CLI is installed and where you can run AWS CLI commands. To check the credentials in the AWS CLI, use the command as shown. The output shows I am using my admin user credentials. Next, run the same command on an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance using an AWS Identity and Access Management role. The output now shows that I am using an IAM role named my EC2 role. If you are using the AWS SDK, you can use the same API call by using the get caller identity call with your AWS security token service client. The following code example shows you how to run this in AWS SDK for Python. The output shows that I am using an IAM role named my EC2 role. Make sure that the SDK is using the intended credential because Boto3 will look in multiple locations for credentials and in a specific order. If a request is sent through a virtual private cloud and VPC endpoint is configured, then check whether the endpoint policy allows access to the S3 bucket. To verify, log in to the AWS Management Console and enter and choose VPC in search bar. Choose endpoints, choose the desired endpoint, and then choose the policy. In my case, the VPC endpoint policy allows all access. And thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>